Kristeni waheshimiwa kidogo. Nakubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba tuko na matatizo ya walimu. But we made a policy decision which I want to repeat. Part of the problem we have is that most of the teachers in many of our pastoralist areas are Kenyans from other parts of the of the country. And what happens is whenever there is a small incident they take off and they go back home. Then the children in northern Kenya are left without any teachers. I I know we must rationalize teachers and uh, I have uh, I made a commitment that we will hire additional teachers. I think the first 30,000 will be hired next year, early next year. We will make sure that as we hire the 30,000 teachers, we will give a commensurate, you know, um, allocation to our pastoral areas. But long term, long term, I want the leaders from pastoral areas to identify teachers from pastoral areas to go to college and come and teach the children of those pastoral areas. I took the initiative myself to get almost 100, 100 uh, students to college, and I paid for them from Tana River, for example. But you have CDF. Let us sponsor, and we are going to make a deliberate, affirmative action to ensure that teachers from Bastolese areas get an allocation in all our teachers training colleges. The Ministry of, uh, the Ministry of Education has very clear instructions to make sure that we get more teachers trained from Bastolese areas so that they can go back and teach in our primary schools and even in our secondary school in those areas and when they finish college we will make sure that they are hired by the teacher service commission i made this offer before we got very few uh, uh, very very few uh, um, people from the pastoralist areas who want to teach because fulani <coughs> You know, musiniambie good people ya kwamba tunaweza kukosa watu ambao wanataka kuwa walimu. Because anybody in, uh, in our pastoral areas akiwa na C minus ama C something anaona anaweza kupata kazi kubwa ataki ya uh, while teachers from other areas even with C plus they still go to teachers college surely. Good people. Eh? Musirudishe nyuma sana watu ya pastoralist areas. And, and you see the problem with what you're saying. If we take teachers who are of lower education qualification, you will actually be mainstreaming the lowering of education in our arid and semi-arid areas, which long term works against the interest of arid and semi-arid areas. You must be willing to persuade those people who have good grades to be teachers from arid and semi-arid areas. Tapadali. You know, and, and we must all speak to this issue. Otherwise, this problem will not go away. Tunailewana lomenen? Eh? Bas, asante sana. Vetting na vitambulisho na passport. Nafikiri kuna vile tumekubaliana na iko katika manifesto yetu tutawaambia vile tutatengeneza so that we make sure that hii maswali mingi inaulizwa tunapunguza lakini wale watu ambao sio wa Kenya tuwajue na alafu tuwapatie wa Kenya wetu ve, uh, vitambulisho pamoja na mambo ya vetting tupunguze and we have already uh, professor Kindiki and Aden Duale are working on the framework which will be shared with you as the representatives of our people in the, uh, in the pastoral areas so that we can be able to take care of them. In any case, we are now required as a country even to take refugees to be nationals. 
So if we can take refugees to be nationals, why don't we take our own people and our own children? So I, I think this is, this is something that, that we, we, we have already taken a policy position on, and shortly we will engage you so that uh, that challenge can be eliminated. Kuna swalingine? Yes, sir, Kanchori? Thank you, Your Excellency. One time you talked about Tanari. Oh. Tulete watu wetu kwa malisho mzuri. Your Excellency, umeongea pia mambo ya dams. The first time I was elected in 2015, there was a proposed dam somewhere in Mailwa that was surveyed, everything done, and 100... Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kanchori. I agree with you that uh, the whole exercise of um, leather products is, is a major issue in uh, all our pastoralist areas. I, I remember in the conversation we had the people in Kajado when we came for the economic forum there. Tannery was a very big subject. We will have to rationalize because even under the NEDI project, we had, I think, six tanneries. One in Isiolo, one in West Pokot, one in Wajia, one in Marsabit. I think uh, Governor Mahmoud there knows. So we need to rationalize so that we can create the necessary volumes to support a whole value chain. And uh, narrow can be a consideration. And, and as, as, as we will do in other, in other areas, but we want to centralize the whole leather industry and cotton industry around Naivasha because we have energy, at uh, five US cents tariff, and we have free steam. It makes the whole process much more cheaper, much more cost effective, and also we can sell it to the rest of the world as green products coming from uh, green energy. That, that's the, the, the principle we are looking at. But um, even as we do that, uh, Kanchori, uh, your, pe your people don't have to change their political affiliation. This is the government of Kenya. We serve all Kenyans irrespective of how they voted. It, it, really, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. And, and on, the, on the other subject of dams, I think uh, apart from the 100 big dams, we have another 1,000 dams at a lower category. We will see whether Mailua, and I know very well that, uh, that, is, uh, that was in the works, whether it can be captured, I think, not I think, it is captured as part of what we, we must do. Nafkiri, okay, one more lady. Thank you, Your Excellency. When you were the Deputy President, you had an amazing uh, initiative, the Ushanga initiative in our, in our counties, and I think it is important that... Uh, you revive it and, um, and we make sure that our women in our counties benefit from it. It is part of our plan, Meshmiwa. Uh, you remember uh, some resources were, as were allocated to it and then some other characters went and sabotaged it. I want to give you my commitment that uh, the Ushanga initiative was started in my office and I want to assure you that we have seen the benefits of the Ushanga initiative. It has improved the quality of the products the women are making. It has revolutionized the way the delivery of the different uh, um, um, skills and, and competencies, and of course, uh, put some money in many women who otherwise would have no economic activity. 
So we will not only uh, escalate it, we will provide additional funds, and I request you to help me mobilize Parliament to make sure that it is passed. Okay? So thank you very much.